What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Batman Detective Comics issue number 1079. This one is written by Ram V. Uh, the backup, of course, is written by Dan Waters and um, multiple artists worked on this, including Jason uh, Sean Alexander with Liam Sharp. And the backup was the artwork was done by Juan Ferreira. So this one is continuing the whole Batman being hanged storyline, which he did in fact get hanged. Uh, but because Selena Kyle is actually a really clever character, at least when, you know, in some instances she's written that way. I mean, Gotham War did not showcase her intelligence at all, but Ram V actually did a good job with her character back in his run. So in this one, like it was all one big kind of like it's like a heist type storyline where she planned for Batman to get hanged and she kind of injected him with something from Poison Ivy which slowed his heart beat down and contracted his muscles so that when he was hanged that he seemed like he was like mostly uh mostly dead but not fully dead uh something kind of like princess bride if you will it's like well not quite that but i mean that's the joke i was going with but so anyway so everyone thought he was fully dead but he really kind of was alive and so it was just a plan to kind of steal his body and that's kind of the main like crux of the issue like selena kind of like this was all part of her plan she knew things would kind of go specific ways and eventually like i said it's all about kind of like stealing his body getting it back uh other stuff that happens in the Issue. We have Azrael fighting the little wolf monster kind of guy. We have stuff with uh, Leanne and her mom, which I like that aspect of it. Like, that's some of the more interesting stuff for me. Um, I'm still wondering where this takes place in terms of continuity. I guess this is before Green Arrow, but is it not? I... I don't know in terms of like the timing of it all uh, per se. I want to say it's before that, but I don't know. It just feels like it doesn't fully line up per se. But like I said, I like the stuff between her and her mom, if you will. Uh, so anyways, like I said, I was, they're planning to kind of get this all along and they kind of trick everyone. And pretty much by the end of the issue, they seemingly kind of have like uh, they're on the path of getting his body back, if you will. Um, Mr. Freeze, of course, betrayed Cass and all that. There's a lot of moving pieces within this issue, um, but some of the other stuff, like the ending, it seems that Selena is maybe going to team up with Talia and potentially, like, Two-Face based on kind of this ending, like, kind of like needing some sort of help, if you will. So that's the stuff I was kind of most in, intrigued about kind of going forward. And then in the backup storyline, it's kind of a flashback story to when the Orkham family was on their way to Gotham. I uh, don't really feel like it was all that necessary. It just kind of shows more of their ruthless side and like um, that. And that's kind of about it. Um, don't really, like I said, it just, I, I wish that a lot of these backup storylines would just kind of be omitted and just kind of drop the price by a dollar. Cause a lot of them don't feel like they add too much to the storylines per se. I mean, they're kind of there. Sometimes we'll get a good one. And other times just like, do we really kind of need this thing? I mean, uh, all the information I feel like I need about the org cams has already kind of been presented. That just felt kind of like a little bit of extra padding, if you will. But I mean, if you kind of want to know more about them and get to see a little bit more of their story, then like I said, that's, that's kind of there for you. Um, uh, the artwork in this particular issue, uh, some of it, I kind of like. some of it was just kind of okay. It's not my favorite style of artwork. Um, it's a little bit kind of, uh, it's not as like crisp and clean as some other styles you'll kind of see, but there's some shots that I like in particular, the scene when Azrael fights like the, the Wolfman monster fuel. I think that was probably my favorite panel in the issue. Um, but again, like for the rest of the comic book, it's just, we're still kind of in this storyline and I'm just, I, I, I personally have kind of lost most of my interest with the whole Orcam thing. I kind of want to see them tackle something different. Um, but again, at least it's been kind of consistent following kind of one storyline. But at this point, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of like bored with it. I mean, Batman, this, this whole like Batman being hanged and all that is still kind of going on. I mean, obviously like it was part of their plan to get him like that, but this particular storyline with the Orkhams and that it's still kind of going on. And uh, like from a pacing perspective, it just feels never ending at this point. But I feel like we should hopefully be reaching the conclusion to this storyline soon. I don't know. I just, I've never found the Orkhams all that like exciting or interesting as villains per se. The stuff that I like the most in this issue is the stuff with uh, Leanne and her mom. Um, and I do appreciate like showcasing like Selena's intelligence, uh, whereas something like Gotham War kind of just made her out to be like really, really dumb. 
So I appreciated that aspect to it. Uh, there's some stuff with Mr. Freeze and Cass that's going on here, and Azrael fighting like the Wolfman monster was kind of cool, I suppose. But I'm just kind of losing interest, if you will, in Detective Comics uh, at this point. I'm just kind of like, oh, well, we'll just we'll just keep going. I mean, I, I've stuck with it this long. I'm waiting to see how they wrap up this whole Orgham storyline. Uh, I am questioning where other members of the Bat Family kind of are during this thing, or other members of the Justice League. Uh, does the reality machine, like, because some people are immune to it and some people aren't. Does it affect like, everyone outside of it? I, I, I just can't fathom that this whole stuff is going on and not one hero from the outside is here to kind of like jump in and help things out, if you will. So I don't know. It's just I'm kind of at a mixed opinion with this issue overall. I don't hate it by any stretch of the means, but I'm not really loving it. I'm just kind of waiting for it to the storyline to wrap up at this point so we can kind of move into a new more exciting direction with uh detective comics so but hey i mean only time will tell so uh what did you think of batman detective comics issue number 1079 did you like it did you dislike it post your comments down below be sure to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to your channel for content hit the bell for notifications i got a few more comic books that i'm going to cover uh between today and well actually i should probably hopefully like wrap things up today uh still got a few more left i got to talk about this one uh, the main beast world issue number two issue came out so I'll be talking about that one after this one. And I think World's Finest Teen Titans has a final issue, if you will. So I'll be covering that uh, on the channel as well. So plenty of stuff to look forward to. So we'll get to that in a second. But anyways, uh, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.